The Ministry of Defense has signed a 6,900 crore rupees deal with Bharat Forge and Tata for the procurement of 155 mm 52 caliber ATAGS artillery systems. This deal is a major step in India's push towards indigenous defense production. The Advanced Towed Artillery Gun System, developed by DRDO, is designed to enhance the Indian Army's artillery capabilities with improved range and accuracy. The contract, which focuses on production and delivery, underscores the government's commitment to boosting self-reliance under the Make in India initiative. The Defense Research and Development Organization DRDO has confirmed that the Zorwar light tank features an adaptable design, allowing for the development of a more powerful 32-ton variant. This upgraded version is expected to include a 120mm turret and an 800-horsepower engine, significantly enhancing its firepower and mobility. The move aligns with India's focus on modernizing its armored forces, particularly for high-altitude warfare. The existing Zorwar tank, designed for agile operations, serves as the foundation for this new variant, which aims to bolster the Indian Army's combat capabilities in challenging terrains. The Indian Air Force has initiated efforts to acquire high-tech aerial decoys capable of mimicking the radar and visual signatures of its frontline fighter jets, including the Rafale, Su-30 MKI, and Tejas. These decoys are expected to enhance combat deception tactics, misleading enemy radars and air defense systems. The initiative reflects the IF strategy to counter modern threats and improve survivability in contested airspaces. By deploying such technology, the IF aims to strengthen its electronic warfare capabilities and reduce risks to actual combat aircraft in potential conflict scenarios. Hindustan Aeronautics Limited HAL has initiated the search for an engine to power its upcoming HLFT-42 supersonic trainer aircraft. The engine must meet key requirements, including a thrust range of 95 to 100 kN and a technical life of 6,000 hours. The search comes as part of India's plans to enhance pilot training with a supersonic trainer that mimics the characteristics of frontline fighter jets. HAL aims to finalize the engine selection to meet the project's timeline positioning the HLFD-42 as a crucial addition to India's defense training infrastructure. Estonia has expressed strong interest in partnering with Indian defense companies to develop advanced radar systems. The Baltic nation seeks to leverage India's growing defense manufacturing capabilities for potential joint production and technology sharing agreements. The move aligns with Estonia's efforts to enhance its surveillance and air defense infrastructure amid evolving security challenges. Discussions have reportedly focused on high-tech radar solutions that could benefit both nations. This potential collaboration reflects India's expanding footprint in global defense partnerships and its growing reputation as a reliable technology and manufacturing hub in the defense sector. The Indian government is considering the approval of a 45,000 crore rupees deal to procure 156 indigenous light combat helicopters for the Indian Army and Indian Air Force. The decision, which is expected to bolster the nation's indigenous defense capabilities, is in its final stages. The LCH, designed by HAL, will enhance the combat and tactical capabilities of both services, providing versatile air support in challenging terrains. This deal marks a significant step towards self-reliance in defense and reducing dependency on foreign suppliers. The Indian Navy is set to conduct a major military exercise in April, collaborating with several African nations. This war game aims to enhance maritime cooperation and improve naval tactics among participating countries. The exercise, which will feature various naval assets and personnel, is expected to strengthen regional security and showcase India's growing influence in international maritime defense. The Indian Navy's efforts to conduct this exercise are part of its broader strategy to deepen military ties with African nations, especially in the context of security and defense collaborations. The Tejas MK-2 fighter jet assembly has crossed the 60% completion mark, with Hindustan Aeronautics Limited accelerating its efforts toward the October 2025 rollout. As the program moves into its final stage, HAL is intensifying the integration of critical systems to ensure the jet meets its target delivery timeline. The Tejas MK-2, an upgraded version of the Tejas MK-1, 
will feature improved avionics, weapon systems, and engine performance, addressing the gaps in the earlier model. The fighter jet is a vital component of India's defense modernization, designed to fulfill the Indian Air Force's requirements for a versatile, medium-weight multirole aircraft. The Tejas MK2 is expected to enhance India's air combat capabilities and help counter regional threats. With assembly in full swing, the next few years will be crucial for the program's success and the IF's evolving needs. G Aerospace has delivered the first batch of F-404 IN-20 engines to Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, as part of an order for 99 engines to power the Tejas MK-1A fighter jets. This marks a crucial milestone in India's fighter jet production program, ensuring a steady supply of engines to support the Indian Air Force's fleet expansion. The contract for these engines was signed to accelerate the Tejas MK-1A's production, which had faced delays due to engine shortages with deliveries expected to continue at a rate of 20 engines per year. HAL is set to boost aircraft assembly and deployment. The Tejas MK-1A, featuring advanced avionics and superior combat capabilities, is a key part of India's defense modernization efforts. The engine supply marks a significant step toward strengthening India's indigenous fighter jet program and enhancing its aerial combat capabilities. Hindustan Aeronautics Limited has issued an expression of interest to select four private sector partners for the joint production of the Advanced Medium Combat Aircraft AMCA. Each selected partner will receive a 12.5% stake in the project, with specific work packages outlined to ensure efficient collaboration. This move is part of India's push for self-reliance in defense manufacturing under the Make in India initiative. The AMCA, a fifth-generation stealth fighter under development by HAL, is expected to significantly enhance India's aerial combat capabilities. The partnership with private players is seen as crucial to meet the 2028 production target and ensure the advanced technology and expertise needed for this ambitious project. This collaboration marks a pivotal step in expanding India's defense industrial base, aiming for greater self-sufficiency in fighter jet production. That's all from YKS team for now. Hope you liked today's video. Please subscribe our channel for more such videos. Thanks for watching.